In this video, I am revealing our net worth for the first time, so watch to the end to find out how much we owe and how much we have in assets. Hi everyone, this is the Say Scrappy channel and I am Irene. Let's start. First, I want to explain what is net worth, why we decided to track it, how we do that and how often. So, net worth is how much one person or a household owes versus how much they own. Basically, it shows how wealthy you are. Net worth is calculated by deducting liabilities like debt and student loans from the value of all the assets the person has. I think everyone uh, have tried to determine his or her net worth in the head. At certain point of your life, you decide to check how much money you have. But sometimes people forget about the debt they have and forget to deduct it from the assets. And in your head everything looks nice. Overall you have some money on your bank account, probably you have a car, some jewelry and an expensive phone. Everything looks fine. But now sum up all the debt you have and deduct it from the money you own. For some people the result can be even negative. That is why we decided to check our net worth, to always know how much money we really have. When we just moved to USA, everything was new. The insurance for a car, medical insurance, dental, vision, HSA, 401k. We didn't have all that stuff in our country. Before moving, we knew about all these things, but only in theory. When you dive into this real world, you are giving away your real money and not just planning everything on a paper or watch YouTube videos where everything looks simple. So we started tracking our networks to know if we are meeting our retirement goals and how much we really own. Now let's move to the tracking part. I created my own spreadsheet where I listed all the debts we have and uh, all our assets. This spreadsheet has several categories like loans, real estate investments, accounts with APY and accounts with no APY. Once a month my husband and I sit down together, check all our accounts and write down into the spreadsheet how much money we have on each account or how much our car costs today and how much debt we have. First of all, I start with our credit score. The spreadsheet allows you to enter all three credit scores from all the bureaus, but from all of them you can get info for free only once a year. So we use Capital One app to check our credit score only from CreditWise, but it is for free. Our current credit score is 770. It increased 3 points since last month, as you can see in the spreadsheet. We started about 3 years ago with no credit score and this is what we have now. Next, I continue entering data into the rest of the spreadsheet. As you can see, it is divided into two parts, liabilities and assets. The amount of money we owe I will indicate in the debt part on the left. And all the assets will go to the right part. Then in the net equity column the difference will be calculated for me. If it is more than zero, that's good. That means that item I own costs more than I owe on it. We don't have any loans or debts, so I will just skip this section. Our real estate asset is a condo we own. It is paid in full and it is a condo where we lived in our native country before moving to USA. It doesn't cost $40,000, it costs more, but I indicate this amount of money because there is a wagon in our country, so everything can change and I am ready to the bomb to fall on a building. Well, after a bomb it will cost $0, but so far this is value I stick to. The car we own is paid in full and we check its market value on Kelly Blue Book website. It is 2018 Hyundai Elantra with about 12,500 miles on it. This month its price dropped about $900 comparing to the previous months, but it is still a pretty high price because last year this car cost about $1200 and in theory today should cost even less, but today we have inflation, so the prices for the used cars are insane. 
Next is the investment section. We don't have any debt here, but it is allowed by a government to borrow money from your personal 401k to let's say buy a house. Or some investment companies like Robinhood can borrow you money to invest. We don't play those games, so let's check what assets we have here. We have a 401k account with my husband's old company where he worked almost a year ago and have a new 401k with a new company. Both of us have Ross Array accounts. Speaking about personal investment accounts, only my husband has those. I don't have an SSN, so I cannot open such accounts. I also add our HSA account to the investment section because the most part of the money we actually invest. As you can see, this month the best performance we had with my Ross Array account. The monthly return is 2.41%. This month we invested into 401k, the usual amount, and also into Robinhood. On the 1st of August, when uh, we fill all the data, we lost $177 right after investing 5000 But at the time of this recording, after two days, we have about $5,800 on the account. This is a great example how market goes up and down and you shouldn't panic and stop investing or even worse withdraw your money. Next up is savings accounts with APY. This is a section where we listed all the accounts we have in different banks and we gain some interest each month on those accounts. Even the smallest amount of money like 8 cents in Bank of America savings account are important. We have savings accounts with Bank of America Capital One and M1 Finance. Biggest portion of the money we store at M1 Finance savings account because it has the best APY, 1%. Capital One offers 0.4% and Bank of America I will just ignore because it's not even comparable to the banks I mentioned before. Last section is all the assets or debts we may have with no APY. When they don't bring us passive income, just can grow or depreciate over time. I created these separate categories to basically see how much money works for us has an APY and how much money just sits under the mattress and doesn't produce interest. When you keep filling the same rows each month in the spreadsheet, you will see the total for the category with no APY and will realize the whole picture and make some changes. In my opinion, it doesn't make sense to store uh, money under the mattress or in the jar. Money should work for you, even the APY is low and the inflation is higher. When you have a couple of additional bucks on interest, uh, this is better than nothing. So in the no APY section, we included all our checking accounts and money we have in cash form or money which doesn't bring any interest. The biggest part of this category is our new big secret purchase. So far we only invested money into this project and it is just sitting there and doesn't bring any APY. That is why I added this asset into this category. When everything will be finished, I will move it to the proper category. Ok, now let's move to the results. Our total assets worth almost half a million dollars and because we don't have any liabilities, our total net worth will be the same as amount of all the assets we have. This month our net worth increased just by only $510. This is a small amount, but it happened because we spent around $15,000 on DAISY, our secret project. Now, from June to July, we can see a 0.1% uh, increase, that is up from the last month's change. In the current net income received, I can see how much money we got this month just as investment income. We did nothing, the amount of money we saved during the months or transferred to 401k or HSA do not count here. This is completely investment income. Now this is our net worth graph for 2021. So far our net worth goes in the right direction. At the end of 2020 we had about $420,000 and now our net worth is almost $5,000. In just 8 months our net worth increased $80,000. I love visualizing the numbers and compare the previous year with the current situation. This way you can clearly see how the things go, how well you perform and maybe even can make some adjustments 
to the lifestyle or your relationship with money to make your money work for you and increase your wealth. On the pie chart you can see our network summary. A big chunk of assets are still in the savings account. That is not good, we have too much money on those accounts. But so far we have some plans for that money and we will wait. Speaking specifically about our investments, the biggest amount of money has my husband's 401k from the previous work. It is 3 years old, the oldest account we have. My Ross IRA investment account is less than 1 year old, but I already invested there the maximum I could, $12,000, and gained more than $2,000 so far. In the next videos, I will show what index funds we have in our Ross IRAs. So please subscribe to the channel and continue watching our videos. That's it, this is our net worth. I remind you that we are a family of two living in USA for a little bit more than 3 years and started investing around 3 years ago also. We live on one income and have to stick to some rules related to my husband's job. So we are not very agile and cannot wake up tomorrow and decide to change the company or a career. But all those of you who have more rights and don't like your job or your career, go and make those changes to gain more income, because time is money. Hope you guys liked this video. Tell me in the comments below, do you track your net worth and what's your net worth goal for the end of 2021? Subscribe to the channel to don't miss our next videos. See you soon, bye!